Have you ever EQ guitars like this? Nah, go simple, like this. Hi, you're here. So in my previous video, I dialed metal guitars, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to EQ metal guitars using the same guitar sound in my previous video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, don't touch anything because your guitars sound good. So then you don't have to touch anything. So I assume that you guys have kind of fancier guitars unlike me, like for example, a mayonnaise or Kize or Aristides and so on. Yeah, so even if you don't have such a uh, fancy guitar, these days, so $700 guitars are really sound good. So then what I wanna say is that Anything is okay. So if your guitars, if you uh, if you play guitars tight enough, then anything is okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's listen to the guitars in the context. Okay. So as I said earlier, you don't have to touch anything. But as you and I hear that some weird frequencies, so then I am going to cut them out. Okay. First one is low end. Okay. I'm going to use high pass filter, and then I'm going to shift it to the high, uh, high, uh, higher, uh, higher way. Okay. Then sounds like this. Okay, so around 100 to 150 is going to be okay. Okay, let's listen to the 100 hertz and 150 hertz. Okay, sounds like this. One hundred and fifty is kinda too light and one hundred is really great enough I think. I can hear some chug some kinda powerful chug sound uh, from here and also I cannot I don't hear kind of weird frequencies of low end and also I managed to cut uh, inaudible low end so which means we can get a headroom of this track it is really great so having a tons of headroom and also uh, cutting the low end makes the uh, work easier. Low end has tons of energy, which means that that eat up tons of kind of uh, headroom of limiter. So then, if I use limiter onto this guitar and without using a uh, high pass filter, it's going to be really noisy, kind of ba -ba 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 or something like that. Then it's so uh, noisy and annoying. Then so I'm going to use a uh, high pass filter and. Uh, Actually, so I always uh, start with high pass filter and low pass filter. Then, so they are really great uh, tools to use. Yeah, so you should uh, learn how to use it. Okay, next one is uh, low pass filter. Okay, so I hear some shh sound in. Then it is uh, conflicting with the cymbals. Then, so I want to cut them out. Okay, let's listen to the guitars in the context. Around 8,000 to uh, 4K is a uh, kind of I hear the, the difference. Yeah, so okay, let's listen to the let's listen to the difference between them. Okay, 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, 8K, and okay, let's listen to the 9K as well. Okay, let's listen to these guitars in the context from 9K to 4K and sounds like this. I think 4K is uh, muddy and 5K is... Okay, let's listen to it. 5K again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in 
but in comparison to 4K to 5K, 5K has really high, uh, high end rich uh, sound, but I think it's uh, still muddy. So I'm gonna go with 6K or 7K. Okay, let's listen to the 6K and 7K and compare them. Okay, 7K sounds like this. K has really rich high end, but also it has kind of uh, uh, kind of mm, annoying sh frequency uh, still. So then I would go with 6K. 6K has a really uh, it doesn't have uh, sh frequency, which is annoying, and also it, you uh, I can hear some uh, rich high end. Then so. 6K is, I think, well-balanced frequency. Then, so I go with 6K. Okay, next one is uh, magic frequencies. Okay, so I have two magic frequencies. First one is 2.2K. This is ear, freak, uh, ear piercing frequency. Okay, let's listen to the guitars in solo. Then, this frequency is kind of sounds like this. This sound is really annoying. So then it's so ear piercing and also kind of really muddy and kind of really, mm, yeah, so excess, I think. So then I want to cut this out. Okay, so my let's cut this at minus, at minus two dB and okay, sounds like this. Let's listen to the guitars in the context and sounds like this. Yeah, then I got cut uh, got rid of uh, ear piercing frequencies. I also I have uh, some uh, magic frequency uh, which is 3.3k. Yeah, this is uh, also a uh, ear piercing frequency. Okay, let's listen to this frequency in solo. Okay, this is really annoying then, so let's cut this out. Okay, sounds like this. Okay, then sounds like this in the context. Difference is really huge. Then, so I would use uh, I use 2.2 and 3.2 k hertz. Yeah, these frequencies are really easy uh, to understand. And if you are care about more ear piercing frequency, 4.4 k is also good frequency as well. So okay, let's listen to this frequency in solo. Okay, sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, let's listen to this sound in the context. I think that I don't have to use this frequency, but if you hear some weird sound from here, then you should go uh, you should go with it. Yeah. Okay. Then last one is 250 hertz. Yes. Uh, this frequency is boxy frequency. Okay, let's listen to it in the context and it sounds like this. Yeah, so this so by cutting this frequency, the guitar is going to be really tight. Yeah, okay, let's listen to the guitars in solo, sounds like this.
this mm, sound is really annoying and boxy. And so I want to hear really tight and kind of really chuggy sounding guitars. And the boxiness is kind of enemy of that chuggy, chug sound. Then so I cut this out. Okay. Basically, that's all. But if you want to hear more mm, kind of smiley face sounding guitar, you should cut this 750 hertz at minus 1 dB. I don't say minus 1 d 2 dB because minus 2 dB is too much, I think. Okay, so let's listen to the minus 1 dB and 2 dB. Okay, it sounds like this. Okay, in the context, okay, okay minus 1 dB is here. Okay, let's go with minus 2 dB and sounds like this. Yeah, if I cut uh, this range at minus 2 dB, it's going to be really mm, thin. I don't feel the powerful vibe of this guitar. So this guitar is basically really powerful kind of Actually, I wrote this uh, song to imitate uh, Godzilla sound. It's not Godzilla, uh, it's Godzilla of Akira Ifukube in the Japanese uh, kind of film composer, I think, I, sh I should say. Yeah, I, I love his sound. Then I, I wanted to imitate his sound. Then so I uh, go with this sound. So then I don't want to cut this sound. So then, but if you like more kind of smiley face guitars, then so you should go with 750 hertz at minus one dB. Yeah, that's all. Okay, but okay, if you want to hear more kind of thrashy sound, you should okay boost uh, using high shelf EQ. And around here, okay, let's listen to it in the context and then, okay, let's boost it uh, gradually. Okay, sounds like this. Yeah, so 7K and uh, at plus 3 dB is going to be really kind of clear of the sound, but uh, at the same time, I hear some shh sound. Then, so I don't use this high shelf EQ, but if you like this type of hi fi or really high end rich sounding guitars, you should go with it. So I wouldn't use it, but if you like it, go use it. Yeah. Okay, that's all. So as I said earlier, so your guitar sounds good. So then you don't have to touch anything. But so after it, so we hear some weird frequencies. Then so we cut these ranges. If you still hear some weird frequencies on guitars, then you should change the cams or your playing. Yeah. So some cams or mics have weird frequencies so then which is uh, on that you cannot cut on eq stage so then in this case you should change cab or mic yeah kind of source materials is all about your sound and then if your source material is bad your mix is going to be bad and we cannot fix that in mixing stage basically eqing guitars is really easy and really simple job, but if your source material is bad, then you cannot anything. Yeah. So then what I want to say is record guitar as tight as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe and then hit the like button and then until next time. Bye bye.